What's up guys, Nello from Max Speed Motorsports here. Today I wanna to give you a small tutorial on how to use our OBD2 tool to code your PCM 3.1. So if you purchased our, if you're purchasing our backup camera kit and you wish to code the PCM yourself in the comfort of your own home, this is possible with our tool. Um, all the information is on our website. So uh, let's talk about the tool itself. It's pretty much uh, very simple. You insert this in the uh, OBD2 socket and you make sure the switch is uh, is depressed at the when you put it in. And what you want to do is when you're ready to do the, uh, the coating, we are going to have to press on the red switch. Uh, important thing uh, is to have a battery charger or a booster pack, something to back up your battery just in case of uh, something you don't want the power to shut down while you're doing this. Uh, that, that that could be problematic afterwards. Uh, I'm not sure what could happen and never happened to me But uh, I don't want it to happen and you don't want it to happen either so um, We're gonna access the OBD2 port uh, On these uh, Porsches uh, most of the time on the 981 991 uh, They're pretty much located behind the uh, fuse uh, cover Which I've uh, already removed by the way um, that's right underneath my foot. Sorry about that, guys. All right. So pretty much you pull out the cover and your OBD2 socket should be right behind the fuse cover. Uh, sometimes it is located underneath the dash. It's very possible. I've seen that a couple of times, but most of the time it's located here. So what you want to do is insert the tool. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. And you want to push this as far as you can. Make sure it's nice and solid. And uh, obviously, uh, next thing is we put the key to the uh, on position, the ignition to the on, and um, PCM on as well. Shut the fan, we don't wanna use any extra power. And the next thing you wanna do is just simply press on the red button. Now, during this process, when you press the red button, you'll notice that the uh, PCM will go into a uh, service mode now you gotta let it do its thing you can't touch anything you don't touch your pcm you don't mess around with the key or anything like that so you let it do its thing it might take five to ten minutes or it can take two minutes um however if after 10 minutes you still have the black service screen and nothing is happening what you're gonna do is turn the ignition to the off position disengage the red switch pull out the uh the tool and restart the process until you get it all right so let's do it Wow, that was fast. I mean, it's the first time I see it doing its thing so fast. Wow, okay. Now let's see if it uh, even coded the PCM because that was way too fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the tool, pull out the tool, press on the red switch, pull out the tool, and let's go into car. And we're gonna click on option. And we sh we're gonna go to um, set car, set parking, and there you go. It did code the uh, the uh, rear view camera, just like the original rear view camera RBC grid lines, which is the uh, grid lines. Um, the uh, RBC will be the camera, of course, rear view camera. Um, the picture uh, parameters and you can press on this to show the uh, the rear view camera image without backing up. Now, uh, when you use the coding tool, it, it does code the park assist as well. Now, uh, if you do have park assist, fine, it's gonna nothing's gonna happen. If you don't have park assist, very simple. You just click on it and you uncheck it. All right. So there's nothing to it. You just uncheck it. So let's go back. Right, so you see the park assist is grayed out at this point. So basically it's just a, an optional function. If you don't have it, you just uncheck it and the story, nothing there. So once again, set car and we go to set parking and the camera's there, everything is there. So that's all there is to it. Um, again, this took like 
a few seconds. I've never seen that before. It normally does take five to 10 minutes. Now, I did an update on this car. I did a PCM update um, with a DVD uh, from Porsche. Uh, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, but it responded extremely fast. Uh, if you need to update your PCM as well, it's possible. Um, this is gonna update the PCM to 4.76 on uh, certain PCMs. When I say certain, uh, I believe you must have version 4.3 and up in order to go to 4.76. If you don't have 4.3, let's say on a 2013 model, I can't recall 100%, but it does not bring it to 4.76. It brings it a little higher, but not to 4.76. So guys, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. I hope this, uh, this tutorial will help you install your backup camera with ease. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, email us or call us at www.maxspeed-motorsports.com. Thank you so much for watching.